Hello and welcome to Infinity. Um, a few videos ago I did a one where we could separate out the tones from the colours uh, using curves and CMYK. Now here is an even faster way of doing the same thing using HSL. So we're going to start off here, I'm going to hit Ctrl J, I'm going to do it twice so I can just keep the bottom layer for reference. Top layer I'm going to make the black and white tones layer. And to do that, I go down to here and pick HSL. And let's bring that one up. And for this, so I want to turn down this, but it only goes to greys if I go here. If I click on the HSV, that goes all the way down to white. So I'll do that. And uh, then I'm just going to keep that, just going to merge it into that layer. So it tidies that up. Turn that one off. Go to the next one down. So near, I won't, now I just want the colours. So again, I can hit Control U now, which is a shortcut for bringing up HSL. So you can do it even quicker. And if I turn the luminosity up here, it just goes white. But if I click on the HSV, now turning up luminosity is about the values and things, and this just gets the me the colours and gets rid of the tones. Again, I'll just merge it to keep it simple. So now all I need to do is go to the top layer, select that, but I want to combine them now. So I need to just turn the top layer to multiply. And there you go, there's the bottom layers. And if I select those two, if I turn those off, there's, the, there's showing you the through to the bottom one, turn them on again, see it's exactly the same. So now I can do interesting things with this. Let's turn that off, Let's select the bottom layer. Um, when you've got just colours, for example, it's easier to select colours from this layer. So if I want to say select the colour in the sky there, then I could say go to select. And there we go, select sample colours. And I'll drag this up here and say so I'm going to select, see if I want to select down here, say for example the greens, that would select that, but if it goes to here and I can drag on the screen and that sort of changes the effect of the, the tolerance there, I can do it in here. So I'll do something that selects most of the sky and those blue areas and apply that. Now if I want to fill this with a colour, I pick the colour I want and I can either select a bit of, you know, one bit of here and polite everywhere else, or I can pick something up here. So let's, oh, let's make it a slightly lighter blue. And now what I can do is go to the flood select tool. And because I want it to go everywhere, I can turn off the contiguous box. So it goes to all selected areas. And then I now click on this. And there you go, it sort of filled that up. And Control D now to get rid of the marching ants and combine them again with the top one. And now I've taken that blue colour there and made it a lighter blue and even got the effect in the reflection as well. Of course, you can spend more time and make it a bit tidier, but overall, let's just look at the before and after. So that's what it was. And there we go, there was the blue in the sky changed. There you go, that was kind of fun and thank you very much for watching.